there is a continuation of the inflation and control in the dental practice. The learning outcomes the same what we discussed earlier. The main thing regarding about the sterilization and disinfection in the dental clinic. And there are a lot of things we are handling with the blood. So we and there are a lot of diseases like HIV, hepatitis, these are the things mostly we seen. So how can we manage all these things and how to prevent all these infections in the dental office? So you know already about the definition of sterilization. It's a physical or chemical procedure to destroy all the microorganisms, including the substantial number of resistant bacterial spores. You already said in the uh, microbiology. So, sterilization is the process of killing removal of the old viable organism. What's the difference between the sterilization and disinfection? Disinfection means you distract off all pathogens and all kinds of microorganisms by physical or chemical means. So, it's a lethal than sterilization because it destroys the major majority of recognized pathogenic organisms. But not necessarily for the old microorganisms like a bacteria spores. So sterilization we are my, uh, the instruments that are kept in the water clay or in the uh, uh, sterilizing unit so we can destroy all the microbial pores everything. But disinfection, we are only the to clean the surface. So, disinfection is the process of removal all the all the most, but not all the viral organism. So, what will be sterile? This thing, no, free from all the living organism, living microorganism. Usually, it have the probability, probability serving the microorganisms. So that means free from all the microorganisms. That is very important for the our the. Uh, medical and dental purpose. Otherwise, there will be chances of infection will be from one person to another person. So, what is the strategy to achieve the infection control, the immunization, and uh, there is a patient screening, hand washing techniques, direct uh, techniques like a PPE and the use of our balm brief pickle rinsing and a needle there are a lot of instruments like sharp needles brand instruments we are handling so needle and sharp instrument safety occupational exposure to blood and body fluids there are a lot of things we are handling the instrument sharp and this there will be higher chances of uh, transfusion of uh, blood and body fluids looking so, like more care to this type of things and self disinfection the patient will touches the dental chair uh, the tumbler all these things so you must care about the surface and disinfection and ready grab the sfcs laboratory sfcs infection uh, infectious dental waste management and disposal to handling the instruments in the dental clinic and the proper waste management waste management is very important So the infection control during the treatment period what are the things we do uh, do it in the patient chair side so mostly uh, there is be a uh, lot of things are near to the dental chair the care to, uh, to be taken when receiving the handling of instruments or passing any type of sharp one mainly the syringe and bp blade bar bar uh, blade these are the things and there are a lot of explore all these things are very important so take special precautions with the synthesis that is the most important part and use of radba whenever it's possible if the patient uh, mostly they are using for the European treatment they are using the radba um, they are not going for video treatment of the removal of teeth, they are not using the router. 
So avoid touching unprotected switches. Mainly the switches are near no because they are using the uh, ultra uh, using the ray when you're going for the radiograph there will be uh, switches are there. If you're going for the the yeah, light cure these things there are switches are there. So you must protect the switches and the handles and other equipment once close uh, the contaminator. So when you're touching all these things you must care about when whenever you're going to do the next procedure you must clean all these things that is very important so avoid entering cabinets once close have been contaminated if you're going to enter the cabinet then touch the door handle or the close in whenever it's there so how can we prevent all these things now what is control of the established practice to protect processing sharp device <coughs> so before beginning the procedure what are the things you must check now the equipments and instruments arrange within the arms reach that means all the instruments is very close to the operator and advocate light and space is very important don't do it in a congested place that is also very important and the passing the instruments like sharp instruments needles must be pointed away from the hand and away from the uh, operator also visible sharp place in the safe area that means in the tray so when you are using uh, the sharp needles like a syringe, no, don't keep it uh, near to the uh, other instruments because there will be higher sense of prick will be there. <coughs> this is when you uh, pre -op uh, operative things. When doing the procedure, what are the things? Instruments should be arranged according to the uh, there are uh, instruments for the surgical uh, things or you are going for the endo treatment all the instruments will be arranged systematically when handling the sharp and beware of the stuff the immediate environment minimize uncontrolled and forceful manipulation of sharp instruments don't uh, do the vigorous movements of the sharp instruments and use of instrument instead of fingers tissue and anesthetic injections retract maximum then uh, then only you can do the suturing and you can give the l if you do it in a very closed uh, area you now there will be chance of it will be there passing the instruments with the sharp ends pointing away from the all the persons and announce instruments pass if you going to pass the instrument to the assistant uh, the phone. like that don't pass it as a normal instrument penetrating instruments like uh, uh, birds everything hand base everything uh, remove uh, from the hand base immediately after the use when you finish the procedure just remove the bar the needles the PP blade, everything from the area. Tips of ultrasonic scales must be shaped or removed immediately after the use. Recap a needle use once handed scoop technique or shading uh, the device. That means scoop technique is a normal technique we are using in the dental clinic. Because most of the times we are going to give LA, there will be higher chance of needle prick. So this is called a one hand method that's called a one hand scoop technique. You can see the picture. First, uh, the cap is placed on uh, the table. Don't uh, touch the cap with your left hand. Uh, put the cap on the table. Place the cap on the level of horizontal surface. Gently slide halfway into the cap. Pass the needle into the cap and then slowly tip up 
needle end of the device and allow the captive slide over the needle and take it up then finally use the thumb of the hand holding the device and secure the cap on the thing that means you are always using with the one hand only don't use with the both hands if you using one uh, one hand with the cap and another hand with the needle there will be higher chance of the needle Then during the cleanup procedure, after the procedure, how will you do is visually inspect the waste materials for the presence of shafts, separate and transport the reusable shaft in a closed container. For the caliper blades, two minutes. Do not cut or bend or remove needles by hand before disposal. Do not remove the needles from the disposable. Normally, this string is very important, and also if you are going for the using of the BP blade, no, take out the BP blade using with the needle holder. Don't use it with your hand. That is very important. Otherwise, there will be higher chance of the break. And put in the proper uh, waste disposal man. So the biological. This may you know there are lot of beans will be there red, yellow, or white like that. So what are the things we will put in the green bag? That is general waste, non-infectious like uh, using the paper waste, cartons, package material, plastic sheets, newspaper, waste product systems. That's the non-infectious materials that we will put in the green bag. But what are the things we will put in the red bag? That is the infectious waste that normally they are contaminated with the blood and blood products. That is the blood bags, gloves, urine bags, disposable like catheters, IV drips, arrives to airways. That normally in the hospital also these protocols they will use that the biomedical waste like uh, uh, blood bags will be there, blood transfusion bags, gloves surgical gloves, urine bags, all these things we will put in the red bag because they are, uh, they are contaminated with the blood <coughs> or body fluids. Then what are the things we will put in the yellow bag? That is the infectious cotton or anatomical piece. That is like uh, bandages or dressings like cotton soap plastic cast, napkins sold with the blood or body fluids of patients, linen material, human tissues, organ body parts, placenta. Normally if you are going for the cesarean or going for the cyst removal, all these things and they will put uh, in the yellow bag. Then what are the things in the white bag? They are like uh, sharp ways, they are infectious. Mainly, the needle should be destroyed the generation point that lancet or the plates but the syringe uh, to be discarded after destroying the needle tip and removing with the plunger the one person soaring hypochlorite solution mostly the needle will destroy the first you destroy the needle tip using with the plunger or we will bend the needle tip then we will cut, uh, cut the hub using with the plunger and we will dispose in the container. Normal if they are using like that. That is a sharp answer. The same thing uh, we will do the PP blade also because they are very sharp. Then what are the things we will put in the blue bag that is the sharp base. In fact, is the same thing. But it is different from the white. But because they are using mostly the IV drip bottles and uh, injection wires and bulbs. Mostly in the hospital they are using the IV drip set and bulbs will be there. All these things they will kept in the separate bag that's called the blue bag. So these are the mainly they are using the waste management protocol in the hospital setup and the clinical setup. So you must know about uh, must know all these things because it's a very important where you keep all these things uh, where you get the when you're going for extension of a tooth in which container we will put the uh, tooth all this is very important if you're going to throw out the uh, 
uh, ways like uh, BP blade, all these things were kept. That is also very important. Cotton also very important. Cotton so all the things you must know the color coding. So in this uh, topic only we are regarding of only how to handle the instruments, the sharp needles, everything, and the biomedical waste management. Thank you.